Now we spend a lot of time talking about mattresses and for good reason, that's a sizable investment. However, a strong foundation is the key to anything worth that much money. So today we're gonna take a good look at the Zenus queen sized upholstered platform bed frame. The frame arrived in a box much smaller than I expected, and this is because of the company's clever way of compacting everything you need conveniently within the headboard. Now you can do this yourself, or like I did, you can ask for a helping hand to speed things up. The queen size model is 80 pounds, so it does help to have someone to assist. Either way though, it shouldn't take you any longer than 30 minutes to put together when you follow the instructions. Your bed frame should last you a while but that doesn't mean your decor has to do the same. The Zenus frame is gray, and I don't know how much more neutral than that you can get. It goes well with the current color scheme I have going on in my bedroom, and its modern, mature look adds a sense of sophistication. But don't just take my word for it, take a look at how it appears with a couple other backdrops. The sides of the frame match the headboard, and this serves to really bring the whole piece together nicely. Between the headboard wood and fabric is a layer of foam, and this provides a cushiony feel that not only feels great, but also adds a degree of depth. Furthermore, the Zenus dark gray upholstered frame features a sturdy steel structure, which is proven capable of absorbing varying degrees of shock, and this makes the bed secure and quiet. Now, one of the most impressive features would have to be the cost. This queen size model can be purchased for just $280 plus shipping. Now, unlike bed frame shopping of the past, you don't have to worry about borrowing your friend's truck and toolbox or struggling with bulky packaging. Everything you need is included. And you can rely on the promise of five to 10 day shipping. I got my product delivered at my doorstep after just six days of ordering. But if you plan on doing it the traditional way, the box's dimensions measure 68 by six by 39 inches. So you shouldn't have much trouble even if you don't have a truck. Now, I've read emails from some of you who don't really care for the color of the legs since they aren't really consistent with the gray color scheme or concealed completely. To this, it's all about preference. I personally think the neutrality of the black goes well with the rest of the frame, but if you don't, it is what it is. Now, I could go on and on about the aesthetics of this frame, but I think you can pretty much see for yourself how it looks. So let's go ahead and get into the nuts and bolts of the dimensions that you need to know. For this queen sized frame, it stands 44 inches from the floor to the top of the headboard and each leg measures seven and a half inches. This gives you plenty of clearance if you store things under your bed. Now if you need more room than this for some reason, it's up to you whether or not to use casters or risers. However, you do so at your own risk as this voids your warranty. The dimensions of the entire unit are 87.5 by 65 by 44.5 inches, and this has proven to be compliant with both the queen mattresses I have used on it so far. It's entirely possible that you've come across complaints about mattresses not fitting squarely within the mattress base, and this is because the thickness of the headboard used to shorten the product's length. Since this ultimately made it non-standard, the people spoke. And it's clear that Zenus listened as they obviously made the adjustments necessary to correct the problem. It's important to carefully consider the distance between slats as some mattresses have specifications due to weight. These slats are just over four and a half inches apart. Now, if your mattress requires them to be closer together for that added support, Zenus won't provide extras as this is only offered for warranty related issues. But as you can see here, the slats come off easily with Velcro. So all you'd have to really do is run down to your local hardware store, buy a couple of one by twos and add them on. Now the Zenus is advertised as being capable of holding up to 500 pounds, including your mattress. So you're probably wondering why do I have two stacked up already? Well, you know me and I like to test things out. So we're going to go ahead and apply around 450 pounds because I don't want to take it all the way to capacity and risk breaking my frame, but up to about 450 pounds and just see what happens. So let's start adding on that extra weight. Well, right around 450 pounds and we're holding strong. So 
Guess it lives up to what it said it was capable of doing. You'll spend a lot of time making the bed, and who wants to spend more than they need to? Since the mattress only sits in the frame around three to four tenths of an inch, putting the sheets on the sit-in version is a breeze. Now overall, this frame is proven sufficient for my needs, but it's not for everyone. For starters, it can't be used with an adjustable base. Also, it's recommended for mattresses with a thickness of six to 13 inches, so make sure that yours fit those parameters before you make a purchase. There's not a footboard currently available on the website, but the wraparound base that you see here looks pretty good in my opinion. Now finally, as of the date of this filming, January 22nd, 2017, there is no option to accommodate a California king size mattress, but who knows what the future holds. I've been using the Zenus frame for a couple of months now and it's proven sufficient. The manufacturer is quick to respond to consumer feedback as can easily be seen on their website. This frame is one that more than serves its purpose at a price that won't break the bank and with a look you can use in just about any room. To read my full review, head on over to thesleepjudge.com.